guys welcome back to the weird part of youtube continuing my ice cream series or the ice cream videos uh today i'm going to be making watermelon ice cream you heard that right watermelon this is a real by the way <laughs> all right so i'm going to be making watermelon ice cream so for this you would need a watermelon duh and um i'm going to be making a popsicle so how do you make that watch this video before that like this video and subscribe to my channel I'm gonna just cut open this watermelon, this gigantic beautiful baby. I got this watermelon for like one dollar. It was two dollars for three watermelon. I mean, three for two watermelon. What am I saying? Three for two. Uh, you get the point. Okay, it was pretty cheap. So I'm just gonna cut open this watermelon. Since it's summer, it's like super hot over here in California, and I'm gonna cut it open right over here. You can also break it. Ah. Okay. So, this watermelon look, she looks beautiful. Oh my god, she's so pretty. Um, you can also break her open, like you can just pop on the floor. And then, now what we need to do is we need to scoop it out, blend it. I don't have a blender, so I'm going to use a whisker. Whisk it till she's like juicy. And uh, fr leave it in the freezer and uh, that's your ice cream. So, let's do it guys. I'm gonna scoop out this uh, watermelon. I use this, I'm using a spork here. Shout out to Toy Story 4. Am I right? Sporks. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. All right. So I'm just gonna scoop out. Oops! It just flew over. All right. So I'm gonna time lapse this so pretty much you know I'm just scooping out the watermelon. I've scooped the entire watermelon. Oh my god, it's like completely empty. With this, a bit of pieces left, but it's it's okay. I'm gonna scoop it out later. But anyways, you get the point. Completely empty. Two spears or half spears of watermelon, and she was small. I mean, not gonna lie. So after scooping her, I just got this much watermelon. Looks yummy. Looks delicious. Obviously, the uh, problem with watermelon is that it's really has a lot of water content, it has a lot of seeds. So you could do, you know, you could take out the seeds prior to scooping it. I didn't have much time, honestly, so I'm just gonna keep it there, um, <laughs> hoping that it would give me some more grittiness while blending it. Um, honestly, it doesn't matter. But uh, if you want to be extra careful, you can do that. Um, so once I'm done, I'm done with this. All right, so some watermelons are not sweet, right? Some watermelons um, are watery and they don't have the sweetness. So, well, you can add a bit of sugar uh, if you want that. Um, if you want the natural taste, you can just leave it as is. So with that, let's head on to the ice cream part. so I measured uh, with the watermelon how much it is it's all, almost four four and a half cups um, including the water content so I'm gonna add one cup of sugar uh, I prefer this because the watermelon is not that sweet so even if you prefer natural ones it just has a little bit of um, you know it tastes better so I'm just gonna I have only half cup of sugar so I'm gonna add coconut sugar as well what sugar I have so I'm just gonna add it. One cup, one and a half cups is okay. So coconut sugar isn't that sweet. So add in moderation. So once you have this, I'm gonna whisk it. Um, if you have a blender, you can throw it in the blender. I don't have a blender, so I'm gonna go ahead and whisk it. All right, she's ready. Okay, she's brown because I added the coconut sugar, which has a brown texture. You do see some seeds. Again, that's cause I didn't de-seed them, which is basically take the seeds out from the from from the watermelon but that's okay um it adds a bit of grittiness you can see it, it's a bit chunky as well that's because i didn't have a blender if you have a blender throw it in the blender if you want it smooth uh, i also prefer it a bit chunky because i can actually bite into the actual fruit again that's up to you if you want to do it um all right so once you have it like here um you need some popsicle sticks if you don't have popsicle sticks i just grab whatever st you know the the you know tea sticks when you when you want to um 
mix your coffee or tea in the restaurant or Starbucks or whatever just grab that or you can grab a popsicle stick if you have a popsicle stick if you don't have any of them don't worry grab a cutlery like a spork knife um, in this case knife or whatever just don't worry about it you know you can break it open or you can just leave it like that don't worry and um, you can pour it into um, two tumblers or glasses whatever you have I honestly prefer steel tumblers because uh, they're resistant to breaking it but uh, you do you. Um, you you can also put it into glass uh, glass or you know like container whatever and then you can just they're, they're loud though okay and you can just ladle it and uh, I'm gonna ladle it and put it in there so right, another step is If you want if you find um, you know you don't want to add sugar and you want it a bit more sweet you can add honey um, I find this the sugar or the sweetness all right so I'm not gonna be adding it but if you want to add it do add it and that's the next step um, for before you pour it into the these tumblers so I've actually kept the four method methods over here I'm gonna show it just right, a so bit. in this I've used a disposable spoon so that I for people who don't have popsicle sticks or whatever um, you can use that so I'm just gonna ladle it up that's almost done that was about to drop it. okay I'm gonna use it um, use it I'm just gonna pour it right there looks like a looks like chili um i think I, like i said the color is gone because of the brown sugar or the coconut sugar so um sorry about that but if you are a little bit triggered you can add some food coloring if you want it to be red i'm just going to keep it off the side you can just leave it like this or if you leave it like the side it's all right just just hang in there all right so one done another one i'm going to use the popsicle either you can break it into half or you can just leave it like this and then pour it. Oops, just left it almost there, just like that. Right, for my international viewers who have steel tumblers like these and no popsicle sticks, don't worry, you can just put on a stainless steel um, spoon, literally whatever you can find in your house, uh, no big deal. Uh, the only thing that you need to buy in this recipe is basically watermelon, that's about it. Uh, if you don't have sugar you can just add in honey um i know it's not vegan but whatever i mean it's ice cream it's hot so this is like really cool i mean watermelon keeps your system really cool i love watermelon so i just thought i'll make an ice cream out of it um again this is like really natural it doesn't have any sort of um you know i didn't add anything to it except sugar um so it's like super natural super chill and super awesome so i'm just gonna leave it like this I'm just like pouring it in um, so you can fill as much as you want uh, depending on the size of the tumbler you can go all the way up um, halfway whatever um, so this particular recipe one small watermelon is giving me six cups of uh, ice cream or popsicles so um, you can save it later whatever so there's just four I have some more left here Right, so that's that's good enough for another two cups um, and then if you dilute it probably another one so seven maybe but the dilute one is gonna suck so um, yeah this is the thing you can leave it in the freezer for a while um, how there's no time limit for it I mean you can leave it overnight you can leave it for a few hours depending on how depending on how well it sets uh, basically it should freeze all the way that's no that's how we know it is frozen and it's ready to use um, I again like I said I honestly prefer um, glass or you know something that's strong enough to you know when you take it out of the freezer when you want to scoop out it shouldn't break so ceramics are pretty um, you know they, they break a lot so you know do do whatever so again you can use sticks tumblers you can use a stainless steel spoon you can use a plastic spoon whatever piece of cutlery you can even use a straw like a crazy straw and then just leave it like that whatever for you know the popsicle structure that's about it if you don't have spoon i don't know what you would do how you would eat it but if you don't have you can just leave it like that freeze it and then 
eat it like that i guess whatever you do you so i'm going to leave it off the freezer and we'll check it out another thing uh, another tip is that if you want the popsicle to s be straight like people who have ocd or whatever what you can do is you can leave it like that depending on the freezer you, if you know how well your freezer freezes just leave it for another half an hour or 40 minutes and then you can leave it straight once the bottom layer freezes that way it's like stuck uh like instead of leaning it like this it just gets stuck whereas if you have a popsicle it just sticks like that so that's the advantage of having a popsicle but again don't beat yourself over it it's just a small inconvenience over that uh, so that one sticks this one i think it it has this you know like this pointy edge that's why it doesn't like it bends over oh okay <laughs> I got really happy okay so yeah whatever doesn't matter and then you freeze it all right let's put it in the freezer and check it out okay. put it in the freezer like this um you know it's slanting you know what never mind uh, it doesn't matter i'll check it after one hour and then see how it goes so bye bye so this is all set look at it it's like super cold just got from the freezer it's obviously hard so you know you can leave it out for it to warm a bit it's just right out of the freezer and that's about it so once it sets you can just leave it out straight like this I left it out for a day so that's why it's all pretty frozen so you can leave it out for a few hours depending on the freezer and then that's about it so i'm gonna taste it in a while once it cools down so pretty excited so here's the ice cream i just pulled it out of the glass tumbler so i'm gonna just eat it super delicious the watermelon taste is completely retained pretty crunchy it isn't like any of the ice pops which I've tried before, which is just watery and it doesn't taste that great. But this one, I bite into the watermelon, it's chunky, it's fruity. Tastes pretty damn amazing. So try it out at home and let me know. Comment down below if you like it. So I'm gonna eat the whole of the ice cream. You can see the steel spoon. Alright, that's all. See you in another video. Bye!